Hello everybody, so today we're going to do a little experiment to find out what happens to the ionized water after you freeze it, after you put it in the fridge, after you microwave it, and after you boil it. Um, so this is just the setup portion of it. Um, I'm going to do the fridge and freezer and then stick them in the fridge and the freezer first. So this is a freezer one. I have them labeled so that we can easily tell. Um, so I'm just going to fill it up and then test before. I'll do a test before and I'll do a test after. So, oh sorry, let me show you the meters here. So the pH is 10.4 and the ORP is um, 750. 10, okay, 10.5, 7.50. 10.5 and 7.55. Okay. So now to eliminate the the variable of air getting affecting the ORP and the pH, I'm going to cover it with some plastic wrap so that the plastic wrap touches the water. while it's freezing and thawing out because this one's going to have to thaw out as well before before we can test it obviously <laughs> okay so just trying to nagle it so that let me show you what I'm doing I'm having it touch the touch the water here so that there's no air pockets or as much as I possibly can not have any air pockets okay I think that's good enough and then we're sticking this over the top so that it stays and then I'm just going to put this in the freezer Up. I'm just going to stick these in here while it's pouring so it can start trying to figure it out. Ten point five. Ten point five. Negative. Ten point five negative seven fifty. Ten point six. 
negative 755. 10.6 negative 755. Okay, so we're just going to cover this uh, the same way we did the one for the freezer. This one's for the fridge. And covering it so that um, there's no air pockets or as much as possible. Okay, that looks pretty good. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe I'll show you. Uh, so there's, it's just touching the actual water, so there's no air. Okay, so let's put the lid on and stick it in the fridge. Now, we're going to have to wait for these to cool down. I'm sure that we'll probably leave them in there the same amount of time. Okay, so now microwave yeah let's do the microwave next meters on so it can start reading it. Seven negative seven sixty three four ten point seven negative seven sixty four. We'll say that's a good readings. Um, all right, ah, so now I'm going to cover it with plastic again. heat it up in the microwave I'm not going to I'm not going to boil it in the microwave I'm just going to heat it up to about 100 or hot to 110 degrees hopefully I'm just going to estimate how long that's going to take um, and then we'll measure it after because the ORP and the pH meters I don't think will take can be in such hot, if it's boiling, it can't, it won't work, or it might damage it. That's what I'm afraid of. So I'm gonna put it in here for a minute. Okay, so while that's going, we'll do the last one. This is the boil one.
I'm just going to pour it in here to measure the ORP and pH. Um, and then I'm going to pour it in a tea kettle and have it boil. And then what I'm going to do is, after it boils in the tea kettle, I'm going to pour it back in this container and uh, cover it with plastic. So, so, okay, I'll let it settle down a little bit. Ten point six negative seven twenty thirty. 10.7, negative 735. 10.7, negative 735. And now I'm just going to pour this in the kettle. I don't know if I can do this in front of the camera. Let's we'll see how. Okay. Okay, so I'm just gonna set this aside. We'll pour I'm putting it on the stove. Now the microwave is done. And let's see what temperature it got to. I have a thermometer. It's over here. This is just a regular cooking thermometer. Pretty simple. This costs like eight bucks or something. So let's see if we got it to the right temperature here. So 100 and 10, 108, ah, perfect. I didn't want to go above 110 because I thought that might, 108, that looks like 108 or 109, okay, fine. So, now let's test it. It's not bad. It's negative 750 and 10, or negative 7, 55 and, oh geez, negative, we'll say negative 755 and 10.4. So that wasn't bad. Okay, so I don't think this uh, tea kettle is going to start boiling for a while, so I'm going to end this video and we'll start another one to do the boiling next.